Hello everyone, my name is Devi Fiatri Permata Jadi, and welcome to the Food Culinary News Report. Our topic today is about a place for you to hunt street food in Sao Jajar. We are going to be investigating where the place is, what kind of food they sell, how much the price for its portion, how it tastes, and then how are things at the scene at that time. Shortly, we will be going to look and interview at Sao Jajar Road site where there are a lot of fans of street food. A place where there is a lot of street food is not too far from Malang City. If you take the alternative road, it will be faster, but the road generally goes through the firm road about almost 5 until 6 kilometers away through Sulfat Street. Specifically, this place is located in the South Jajar area at Malang Regency. Several parts of the South Jajar region sell street foods in their territory. You can choose the area that you want, but all area must have many kinds of different street food. For today, we will look at an area near the Velodrome, one of the sport venues in Malang Regency. As you can see, right now, there are a lot of street food choices in front of me. Snacks, beverage, and heavy meals that are from typical food in Indonesia, also other countries, are available here. Mostly, all of the prices of street food that are sold here start from 5 until 20,000 rupiah. It depends on how much the portion is and what kind of street food that you order. Actually, some of these stalls have started to open from morning, but most of them only start to get crowded in afternoon. Street food. Who doesn't know street food? Street food become the right choice for everyone who likes to hunt food that has various kind of it. Street food or street vended foods are food and beverage that are sold on the street and other public places. For immediate or later consumption without further processing or preparations, which is often become an option for those who want to buy a food without any hassle. Nowadays, a lot of new technology gives an easier way for the seller about how they deliver or sell their food to the buyer. For real example, like the street food things. How they get attention from the way they do the opportunity by selling their food on the roadside. A lot of choices which you can choose and enjoy here. Right now, I'm here one of the consumers and we will talk to her for a bit. Excuse me. Can I talk to you? I'm here doing the interview for a culinary news report. What is your name? Um, right. Uh, hello, my name is Tia Sayekti. I want to ask some question for you. Is it the first time you came here? No, actually, I often go here, whether by myself or with my friend. Oh, right, I see. Do you think Sojajar is a good choice for hunting street food? Yes, it is. In my opinion, Sajajar has a good strategical location which is near from my house and there are a lot of choices for everyone that wants to enjoy a different kind of street food. Yes, I agree with you. So, what do you think about the atmosphere at Sajajar? I think it's good actually, but sometimes the weather is unpredictable. It can be really hot or raining at the same time. Because Sao Jajar is a residential area here, there are many people who pass by and people who live. The atmosphere is lively and comfortable when you spend time hunting street food on the side of the road. I see your point. So, what are you ordering now? I'm ordering a milk tea and topoki. Alright then, thank you Tias for giving the opportunity to do an interview with you. Have a nice day and enjoy your food. It is my pleasure. Thank you. Now I'm ordering one of the most popular Indonesian food, kebla. And for the drink is a milkshake with a red velvet flavor. Food has a good taste of it. And this is a perfect combination for you that wants to enjoy a street food on the side of the road. Overall, all of the street food has a different characteristic with its own taste and uniqueness. It just depends what kind of food that you want to order according to your tongue and taste. With affordable price and strategic location, Sao Jajar is the right place that you must visit for hunting a lot of street food. That's all from me. I'm sorry if there is a mistake. 
Thank you and goodbye.